what's up beautiful people today we're going to be checking out a video of um, putin and his relationship with africa this one is titled putin shocks the world with free grain for african countries and gives zimbabwean president a helicopter people are saying they don't have um, helicopters and weapons anymore but he's giving them out <laughs> anyways let's get to it russian president vladimir putin has made a shocking pledge at the ongoing Russia-Africa summit currently held in St. Petersburg. Taking advantage of the void left by the collapse of the Black Sea grain deal, the polarizing Russian leader has promised to provide free grain supplies to six African nations. President Putin announced that Burkina Faso, Zimbabwe, Mali, Somalia, Central African Republic, and Eritrea will each receive up to 50,000 tons of free grain within the next three to four months. Hmm. This move comes as Moscow seeks to establish a stronger foothold in the African market. While when they say free grain, what do they mean? Is it rice or wheat? While addressing the repercussions of abandoning the UN brokered arrangement. Hello and welcome. This is Rain Smith and you're watching the New Africa Channel. Yeah, let's see. Addressing the summit on its opening day, President Vladimir Putin made a statement asserting that Russia could step in to replace Ukrainian grain exports that were blocked oh. due to Moscow's decision to withdraw from a UN brokered arrangement. This arrangement had facilitated the export of grain and other products from Ukraine through the Black Sea to various markets, including many in Africa. In the coming months, we will be able to ensure free supplies of 25,000 to 50,000 tons of grain to Burkina That's Faso, Zimbabwe, Mali, Somalia, Central African Republic, and Eritrea, he said in a speech opening the Russia-Africa summit. According to Putin, Russia is capable of replacing Ukrainian grain both through commercial means and as grant aid to the most vulnerable African nations, especially considering the anticipation of another record harvest in Russia this year. Hmm, record harvest. Russia is doing pretty well economically. You know, contrary to what I'm hearing or what I've been hearing on the media, seems to are doing pretty well. The increase in food prices and global hunger has been attributed by the West to the Russian war. However, Putin holds a different view and disagrees with this perspective. In response to Western criticism of Russia's withdrawal from the grain deal, he pointed out that a significant portion of the exported grain had actually been directed to high income or above average income countries, including some within the European Union. Additionally, Putin pointed out that Western sanctions resulting from the conflict in Ukraine have hindered Russia from offering free fertilizers to impoverished nations. A paradoxical picture is emerging. On the one hand, Western countries are obstructing supplies of our grain and fertilizers via sanctions, while on the other, they hypocritically blame us for the current crisis on the world food market, Putin stated. Wow. Western sanctions do not apply to Russia's grain and fertilizer exports. However, Moscow asserts that limitations on payments, logistics, and insurance, insurance pose significant yeah. obstacles to these shipments. So far, the Russia-Africa summit has received representatives from 49 out of 54 African states, with 17 heads of state and four heads of government in attendance. I never hear of Nigeria in these meetings. Nigeria doesn't come. However, this figure falls short of the number of leaders who participated in the 2019 Let me see the presidents present here. Oh, I don't know them, the representatives. Yeah. Summit, which the Kremlin attributes in part to the efforts of Western countries to sabotage the event. Seems that both the West and Russia are playing the blame game regarding who is responsible for the global food crisis. They're both fiercely pointing fingers at each other, desperately trying to persuade African nations that the other is the real culprit. Mm -hmm. While their rivalry for influence intensifies, it's the poor countries that bear the brunt, grappling with an ever-worsening food crisis. What do you think about Putin's offer of free grain to six African nations? Let us know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment. 25 to 50,000 tons of free grains. That's a lot. That's, that's a whole lot. Yeah. Putin is really winning the hearts of Africans, some must say. <laughs> yeah, he's winning the hearts of Africans. And if he's giving that out, it means the 
It means his economy is definitely doing well. It means Russia is doing well because why would you be giving out if you don't have or what are you giving out from if you don't have, which means they have more than enough, right? And also, I heard the, the petroleum, the economy in the petroleum sector is also thriving since the whole sanction. So they are adapting. They are adapting and also the sanction is, is making other countries want to leave the dollar so the dollar doesn't have the ability to sanction them. You know, because now I think three hundred billion dollars of Russian money is yes. being held or being locked, so Russia cannot access that money, and making other countries think if they are doing this to Russia, they might do it to us. Russia is able to survive because you know Russia, they they have a, I think I heard twenty percent of the world's minerals. That's what Russia has twenty percent. In countries, smaller countries that don't have these things, or poorer countries, imagine them sanctioning your money. You you will not you will not survive. You can't thrive. So other people are trying to leave um, the U.S. dollar system. That's why you're hearing a lot about the de-dollarization. It might not be easy, but the step towards it means advancements. You know, people are saying it's not going to be possible. Blah blah blah. That's not the discussion. The discussion is a step towards that direction is advancement, even if it's baby steps or chicken mm -hmm. steps. Is advancement which um, it's, it's not really a good thing for the dollar I can I can say um, and also there's a there's a meeting that's going on Russia is proposing I don't know if Russia proposed it honestly but there's a proposition that countries between Africa Russia I think China they are trying to make a system where you're exchanging local currencies for products so let's say I'm Nigerian and I want to buy something from Russia Russia I give Russia rubles and you know they give me the products and russia wants to buy from me they give me naira and then i give them the product so that's what they are trying to do now eventually africa might come up with a central system because african countries are trying to take away the border and then they can have a central trading currency so yeah this regardless of how you see it it's not like a it's not a very good thing for the dollar and i think the best way to the best way for um countries to sustain themselves economically to get along period that's just the best way you cannot segment yourself or try to you know criticize the other country and blame this country for um decisions and different things and also expect them to come along and do business with you it doesn't work that way so instead of playing the blame game like they were saying in the video they should get along and that's going to help everybody thrive but it's the end of this video everything i'm saying i'm not a professional so don't don't think i'm saying it as a professional because i'm on youtube doesn't mean i'm a professional i'm just sharing my thoughts with you and you can also share yours with me a lot of you might know a lot more than me so you can talk to me in the comment section is the end of this video smash the like button subscribe and i'll see you on the next video have a wonderful day peace